Hi, good evening, everyone. Uh, hope I'm audible. Uh, my name is Deepak. I'm one of the co-founders of Calvium, and very, very happy and delighted to invite and host all of you at this uh, Meet the Calvians program. So, uh, hey, folks, uh, happy to see you all. Uh, uh, so, these three students from LPU, uh, I think Rikhil is a first year going to second year student. Uh, so we can call them second years for now because we are already in July and uh, they all cleared. Tanish and Priyanshi are third year students. Uh, so they've been with Kalviam for more than two years and uh, there I am, one of the co-founders of Kalviam. So we are going to go through this whole session. So hi folks, very good evening. Hope you all are having a very great day. So I'm Priyanshi. I hail from a district called Rotak from Haryana. So I'm current, I'll be starting my third year after this break. I've already completed my two years with Calviam Ax LPU program. I'm currently also working uh, in, in, as an uh, intern in a, in a Bangalore-based startup for Napsys. And I'll be very cheerful and happy to answer all your questions. Thank you. I would like to pass it on to Rikhil. Thank you, Priyanshi. Hi, everyone. I am Rikhil, and I am currently studying at uh, Calviam for the past one year. I basically belong from Jalandhar, Punjab itself, and I completed my 11th and 12th with a non-medical background. I will be starting with my second year very soon, and my journey in Calvium has been great till now. I have enjoyed the learning process, and I have also enjoyed a lot of competitions which I participated in. Other than this, I will be here and happy to help about answering any questions. Now I'll uh, like to pass it on to Tanish. OK, thank you, Rikhil. Uh, so uh, my name is Tanishk. Hello, everyone. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Tanishk Patidar, and I'm from Indore, Madhya Pradesh. And uh, I have did my PCM uh, in 11, 12th, and it's uh, like third year. Uh, I'm pursuing my BTEC CAC in LPU. And it's been one year since I'm working in an US-based startup named Aero. Uh, and there I've worked on multiple technologies. I've worked on iOS development, Android development, as well as web development. So yeah, like I'm open to questions. Uh, thank you. OK, let's get started now. Exciting. Now, uh, Saideep Desari is asking, hi, uh, Saideep, Saideep Desari. What about placements? Like we're going to get assistance for placements from Calvium or from university? Uh, you, so I'll answer this. You will get all the assistance for placements from Calvium. Uh, the Calvium takes uh, that uh, responsibility, and uh, yeah, that that answers it. Uh, ideally, you would want it from Calvium and not from the university because when you get experience, uh, you'd get more appropriate companies for you. Uh, we wouldn't we wouldn't want your final placements to be as freshers. You would want you 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 would want companies to pick you for the experience that you have. Uh, hence, that is the case. All right. Uh, what is the maximum internship amount that can uh, that is attained by students uh, till now? OK. Uh, hey, uh, guys, we have the whole report there. Uh, we generally do not recommend. We also don't advise students to pick companies based on the stipends uh, because uh, internship stipends are uh, in material. It's the learning that you get. You know, you saw Tanish speaking about the variety of technologies you got to work for. So uh, variety of technologies, variety of experience, uh, getting as much experience as possible, that is worth uh, like, you know, worth a worth, worth million times more than the stipends you get. But just in case you're wondering, yeah, we have got around 35,000 per month or something as the stipend. Or correct me if I'm wrong, Tanishq, you want to answer that? Uh, the maximum till now is 45. 45, yeah, there you go. Yeah. So, that is the maximum amount but hey this maximum amount means nothing guys you you have to realize that it's it's a small it's uh, yeah it's only to ensure that the companies are giving you good work Let, let's be clear about that okay dinesh has an interesting question what are they going to teach us in our first year uh, so i'll give you a quick preview on what goes in and then you know Rikil can probably take it fresh from his first year experience uh, you learn all essential stuff to become a professional right from day one in the first year. So you will learn uh, whatever it requires to become a computer science in software engineer, uh, from coding, from professionalism, critical thinking skills, communication skills, and all of that. So whatever it takes to become a professional, you learn it from day one. And what you don't have is stuff like uh, 
physics, chemistry, and uh, certain other things which are not very relevant as a software engineer, like you know, workshop, basic civil engineering, welding, and all that stuff. Anyway, Rikil, you want to share what your first year learning experience has been like? Yeah, sure. So I'll be continuing with your answer only. Basically, in the first year, what we are going to learn is, or also what I learned is, uh, first of all, we start from the first day with the computer science part only. We don't waste our time. From the first day, we are starting with things like problem solving using coding, as well as we directly uh, dive deep into the full stack development part. In the first semester, if I go a bit deeper, in the first semester, we cover basics like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and React. And in the second semester, we uh, dive deeper into the backend part of it. Other than the technical skills, uh, we also have subjects like professional skills and critical thinking, which help us uh, learn things related to what, how to behave in an office, how to handle situations when you get into a conflict, and how to not get into biases. Now, this helps because from the next year itself, we'll be starting uh, work integration, and uh, we will be facing actual real life conditions where we'll have to apply these skills. So, this is a summary of what we are actually going to learn, what we'll actually learn in the first year. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Rikil. I hope that answers uh, your question there. Uh, okay. Ishita. Ishita is asking, okay, uh, can you please explain what exactly Calvium is? What are the things done here? Hey, Calvium is the best BTEC program in computer science engineering that you can find, which is available across multiple multiple universities. Uh, what exactly is done here is uh, you learn computer science engineering the way it should be. So I, I'm, I'm carefully choosing the words that you learn. It's not like you're taught something and it doesn't transmit through blackboards and words uh, and, and lectures. It is actually transmitted the hard way, the way that it sticks with you which is you know, coding yourself, learning yourself by doing, uh, experiencing the real world and making a difference. Uh, so I, I think I'm just answering it broadly because the question seems to be broad. In case you have a specific extension to that, Ishita, please feel free to type that. Aditya is asking, what are the qualifications of the faculty at Calvium? Transparently, you want to know. Okay, so no problem, all transparency. We, first of all, don't call them faculty. Uh, they are called mentors, every squad. So when I say squad, first, first of all, you will have to imagine a different kind of a classroom when we speak about Calvium. The classroom is not a typical blackboard and 60 people in a class kind of an atmosphere. Uh, every squad has uh, roughly 20 people the, uh, in the squad. It could be a little less, a little more, 21, 18, 17, whatever in, in each campus per squad. So if you have, say, 100 people in a campus, we will have five squads of 20 each. Right. If we have 88, then we may have four squads of 20 to each in, in that sense. Right. So it's 20 people in a squad and each squad has a uh, has a tech mentor and a program mentor, professional skills mentor uh, with them. So this is how we have structured. Uh, now, who are these? So these mentors are what you probably refer to as faculty, because when we say faculty, typically in your mind, you have an image of somebody like a very, very aged person who has been teaching for 50, 20, 30 years. If you watch the movie Three Idiots, when I say faculty, virus is the person that comes to your mind uh, but no it is not like that you know it's it's more like we would have rancho in the class you know teaching you so he may not have as much as experience but uh, they have they are trained by by us they are trained by calvium they are all software engineers by profession by training and uh, they are further trained by us and uh, they are very very capable in ha helping the students learn computer science engineering so they get one on one attention so that's how uh, it goes uh, maybe there are certain other questions on what your experience with the mentors is like. So we'll get to that uh, because there are a lot of questions. I'll quickly go through them. Okay. So will class timings be the same as other students in the union or Calvium students will have extra classes? No, class timings are different for Calvium students. Uh, guys, you want to, one of you want to pick up how, how you manage extra classes and when do the other people get over and how long do you go on? So yeah, I can answer this. So for a normal BTEC CC students at LPU, the classes generally starts at 9 or 10 a.m. in the morning, ends up at 5. Certain times it's more or less like some days you have less classes scheduled. Otherwise, so this is the normal class timing. They also have a holiday on Saturdays and uh, might have, a, you know, make up classes on other days scheduled. But at Calvium, it's a six day, complete six day week where the class starts at 9, ends at 6.30. Might extend uh, till till seven. It depends upon the workload and uh, the kind of uh, you know the subject which is going on. Whether it is more uh, more time consuming and stuff. So the class starts at nine and it goes till six thirty or seven. Perfect. Thanks, Tranchi. But do you guys also have homework? Do you have to go home and again go to your room and do a lot of work? 
record so, notebooks, all that. Uh, technically, for the first year, I do not feel this homework kind of stuff is needed. For second year, when you are working into companies, if you are not able to finish the company work inside the schedule time, you might need to put in extra time after you go back to your hostels. So that depends on your workload. Otherwise, when you talk about the class curriculum and stuff, I do not think uh, any extra time is needed to be put in after you go back to your hostels. Thanks, Priyanshi. So there you go. That's your class hours. And I'm just adding because uh, post class hours, because a lot of students like listen to lectures in the class and then they have to go back and read everything over and over again because they don't understand anything from the lectures and that's a departure here yeah. so when you're done with your class you're done with your class uh all right hardik taylor is asking will the lectures be in recorded form so hey uh it's a little more than just lectures right there it's a if just like you say multimedia this is multi-format uh content that you have uh, on the calvium platform uh, which you can go through to learn the concepts, to learn what you need to do, and then do your work. And, and then you will be assisted by the mentors uh, who will guide you as and when required. Right. So that's that's how it will be. Uh, okay, somebody is asking, what is the language you suggest we learn prior to joining? See, there is no there is no compulsion to know something before you join. But in case you have time and you want to use it productively, uh, I'll probably ask the students, what would you recommend for a first year to join, you know, before they join till they have what can they get started with? So I'll take this question. Uh, basically, even if you don't uh, learn anything now and you join, uh, start learning from the first day of your classes, you won't face any problem because Calvium starts from basics. But uh, still, if you want to learn something, you can go for uh, either of uh, one language from Python or C++. These are the languages which we primarily use to solve problems in Calvium. Awesome. So Python is popular. You can probably start with that. Is it hard to get internships from second year onwards? Is it hard? You have two second years with us. Uh, do you want to share your experience? How hard it has been, or how easy, or how how has it been? Priyanshi, Tanish, both of you. Yeah. Uh, so I do not feel it's hard. So Kalviam guarantees you opportunities, and I believe uh, whenever we are into a stage where we are getting new internships, starting something new, I think we have appropriate number of uh, opportunities till till we find the right one that fits at best. So I do not th think it is hard. Obviously, you need to put this hard work when you are learning things. So once you are very clear with your core concepts, I do not feel uh, getting internships is hard. Obviously, depending upon the company's level, there will be multiple interview rounds and stuff. So there will be technical round, HR round. But that is how the process is. So I think it uh, it might take up a lot of hard work, but you cannot categorize it to be hard generally. Uh, yeah, like I also agree with Priyanshi and uh, I also feel that if you have the right skills and you did put uh, an, enough hard work during the first year, then you can easily get internships and Calvium do bring in a like, lot of companies according to the strength of the students. So uh, you will get uh, opportunities and you can easily get internship if you are skilled. Right. Uh, Calvium focuses. So I'll go to the next question. Calvium focuses on practical knowledge of what students have learned. If the students offer higher studies, will they miss out on the theory part? You won't. Uh, trust me, theory without knowing what it is, what how to use it is not useful. And if you know the practical learning application of it well, then you can crack any theory you want, right? Because it's uh, the world over for higher education. If you want to go into, uh, you know, MS in the US and all of that stuff, they value your practical education way more than uh, nobody's going to ask you to write, you know, essays on 20 word answers, uh, 200 word answers anymore. So that world is behind you. Uh, so it won't be a it won't be an effect at all. In fact, if at all, you will have an advantage over the others because you will have real world experience to show for. If I want to learn AI, ML, and blockchain in other times, see uh, if you okay. There are two ways to answer this question. I'll take one part and then the remaining I'll, I'll pass it on to the students for their opinion. If you want to really learn something, you're keen about a particular subject, you know, what to get, get into deep, what you get in Calvium in the first couple of years is a very good grounding about what software engineering is all about because it's very easy to get lost in buzzwords, AI, ML, blockchain, blah, blah, blah. How do they all come together in creating actual products is what you need to know. So you'll get a good grounding in that. After that, if you want to specialize in stuff, we have an option for electives in your later years. Uh, that said, if something is critical for you that you need to learn and the world is moving there, Calgium doesn't wait for syllabus committees to sit down and create new stuff. We create that stuff and offer it to our students. For example, something like prompt engineering came in last year. 
uh, when people were debating in other colleges if chat gpt is a force of good or force of evil so we said it's a force of utility and and, and we created a uh, prompt engineering course so that's the approach we take uh, that said if somebody wants to learn more uh, in uh, do you get time to pursue other interests or you know uh, extend your learning co curricular learning tanishk prehanshi one of you want to go you have two years of experience uh, yeah so i would say like uh, there would be uh, time like uh, after the classes where you can learn this and uh, trust me like the uh, a lot of people around around you would be learning different skills and you would start enjoying that and learning new skills like uh, uh, me even me and my friends have ma- made different projects which uses ai and all so that like that's a fun thing your group would be making a lot of different things awesome cool so there you go okay very interesting question so tanish and uh, priyanshi there are skipa is asking are there students who didn't get internship on their second year yes there are a few and uh, they didn't get it for multiple reasons i think uh, ardik and uh, tanish can free and she can answer that uh, yeah like there are some students who weren't able to complete their project so for sitting into placements calvium has a criteria that uh, you should have a project to show to the recruiters so they were weren't able to complete uh, that project and their professionalism score and like a kind of attendance was low so so they don't have wasn't able to get the internship so yeah i would just like to add on a couple of things for clarification so this internship opportunity you are provided depends upon a certain factors so when you are into real world working for companies you need to have certain things checked out for example you need to be a true professional what calvium stands for you need to have the basic core minimal skill set which is required for you to start working in a company so the students who are somehow not able to meet those those criteria will, will be not uh, provided with opportunities and there were a couple of students who were not uh, able to fulfill those benchmarks perfect so uh, guys and and again this is perfectly okay uh, you will as they complete those benchmarks they get on the opportunity to get into this and uh, as per the numbers it's around 87% who have gotten their internships around 13% haven't if you just add down the numbers and uh, uh, again yeah so that's that's essentially the thing and also these internships are multiple so you get these internship opportunities every quarter so in case you conclude an internship right sometimes the projects get over and the company says okay thank you so much we don't want to continue or extend this yeah uh, the project is over or something else changes so the student doesn't want to do that internship anymore they say okay i have done with the project i want a different experience you can opt for uh, internships in the for subsequent semesters as well i think priyanshi you have gone through a couple of internships stints as well uh yeah actually me and tanish have very vivid experiences on this tanish has been working with the same company since the day he started his inter- internship and i've been through a couple of companies so i think each one of you as soon as you start will have different experiences of your own and i believe i do have a great journey working with different companies i think tanish will also would have a great journey working with the same company on different projects so yeah it it all dif- like dif- differ from people to that's it so so in case i'm just saying this because if people are wondering what is internship like it is not like you're bonded to somebody for a for you know for four years it's your choice and there are a lot of choices coming it's always mutual and that's how the real world operates so you get to be in the real world and get a lot of experience okay what opportunities are there for students to participate in hackathons and coding competitions rekil you want to talk about it i mean you put that in your intro you want to pick that yeah sure so uh, i'll be answering according uh, to uh, it, it it will be a campus specific answer because we are uh, meeting with lpu students today so lpu is a very big campus and there are a lot of um, competitions and opportunities always going on in the campus when you are already like Three months into the course, and you have learned some core skills. You can always uh, participate in any competition. LPU uh, keeps hosting. There are a lot of student societies which keep hosting hackathons and coding competitions. Calvium will also be supporting you in this if you participate. You will be or if if for example you are participating in a twenty four hour forty eight hour hackathon, so your attendance won't be deducted at that time. And if you win a hackathon, you will also uh, get recognition from Calvium and appreciation from them. Uh, other than this. participating in these competitions also help you get a lot of experience so i'll like motivate you guys when you start your course you should actually participate in these competitions awesome so somebody is asking as calvium is self paced uh, what if we do not cope up uh, with others actually that's the precise reason why it is self paced because when you go with a 
flow of a lecture, a typical lecture or class hour. Suppose there's a lecture in the morning and the next day there's another lecture and you haven't caught up with what the professor taught you on day one. The professor doesn't stop for you. He goes in a in a whatever median pace. So if you're ahead of the professor, you're bored. If you're behind the professor, you're bored because you're lost. And only those people who go exactly at the same pace are able to cope, right? Uh, with full, uh, full Full, uh, you know, complete relevance. Now, so that is that is the reason why we have a self-paced learning, and this actually helps you cope better. Uh, yeah. Any, anybody wants to share an experience on how it has been, uh, how the self-paced learning has been? Uh, yeah, I would. So let's take an example for for the past semester we had. So there was this course which was associated with the ESL. There were a couple of concepts which which I I personally found to be. Uh, a more time consuming than the scheduled time so what happened was after the semester was over since this is self-paced i now do have time to go back to those courses and complete them so it's not that like you need to finish all those stuffs into into one single period you can always go back to your courses and uh, learn them back again if, even if the concepts are not clear to you at that moment awesome there you go. So that's the benefit of being self-paced, right? Nobody's asking you, hey, why are you learning it again? Or why don't you understand? That's perfectly fine. And if you want guidance also, the mentors are there to guide you, specifically at where you are stuck. So they don't, it's not general guidance, it's guidance to where you are stuck. Okay, uh, the degree we will receive is from LPU. Yes, the degree will be from the university only, right? So the degree will be just like any other degree from for any other program in the university. It will be a university degree. Do we get to attend fests? I think this is answered. Yes, you can. You you can attend all competitions, fests, every other program. So, you are not. Uh, are you treated badly or differently because you're a Kalvian student? In a nice way, in a naughty way, whatever. Like, is there in anything? A, in a nicer way, and you get more respect because of the skills you have attained in the first year itself. So, a lot of third year students also would be coming to you. Oh, how did you make this project so early into your college life? So, you'll get much more respect even if you tell anyone that you are into the Kalvian program. Very good. So uh, our mentors will guide you through the internship as well. Yes, absolutely. You will get guidance for the internship as well. Is it true that the program you do stands out uh, and forward than it is offered in IITs and NITs? Yes, true. It is true because even the IITs and NITs, uh, they're fantastic places. They have great, uh, great, great faculty and everything. I'm nothing against that, but they also follow the traditional method. That they also still follow what is probably the industrial age lecture-based method, uh, which is kind of outdated and uh, definitely not suitable for software engineering for as a course for sure. So yes, it will definitely stand out uh, better than those as well. Class hours are till almost seven. Will we have extra time? Will we have enough time for extra curriculums? So you heard a bit on on extracurriculars like fest and stuff. Anything else? Any other? If you want to do something else, you know, do you get enough time for that? Okay. So first of all, uh, because you are coming to a campus uh, which is so big, uh, even if you are ending your classes at seven, you will still get a lot of people to play outside with any sport with you, whether it be basketball, cricket, or you can go for swimming as well. Uh, other than this, uh, in your first semesters, your Saturdays would be a half day, and the half day you would be given time to spend with your classmates playing sports and any other kind of uh, uh, extracurricular activities. Uh yeah, adding on to Rickhill's answer, I would like to say that you will also get duty leaves if you, if any uh, competition or any event is lying in the time frame from like nine to seven. So you can attend that events. I would like to add like girls do uh, will struggle a bit on this because the hostel timings are till seven thirty even after the extension. So even if you want to go for extracurriculars, it needs to be fitted somewhere into your schedule. Otherwise, like the classes end, ends at 7 and the hostel timings at 7.30. So you do not have a lot of span there in the evening. Cool. So that is it. Uh, the hostel timings for girls, unfortunately, is, I mean, fortunately, whatever for their safety is at 7.30. So, so that's one extra thing. But yeah, then uh, I'm here in the meeting because I've been selected by the interview. How do I apply for BTEC CSE with Kalbium? Oh, great. Awesome. So you are selected for the interview, Anonymous. Congratulations for that. Uh, don't worry. I think what you need to, so you're currently anonymous. If you can, in one of those questions, just drop in your contact number, our counselors will just reach out and help you with that. So uh, please do that and uh, we will we will take note of So some people, Blank is asking, will we become good enough to work as interns in the second year? Of course, you just heard them. So you will be good enough. 
uh, provided you put in the hard work, right? So as we will not have semester exams, how is CGP? That's a very good question. Uh, so there somebody is paying attention. You don't have end semester exams, but you have something called continuous assessments, which keep happening continuously through the year, through the year uh, in periodic intervals, every two, three weeks. These are small uh, tests which happen, which, which check your proficiency and, and basis that on a continuous assessment, your final numbers are calculated. So it's not a high pressure event like a semester exam where you have to write long answers. It is your projects, it's your assignments, it's your uh, tests and all that. So it's a it's a very comprehensive thing called continuous assessments. Uh, how are exams assessed? So that's how exams and assessments are happening. Uh, after and and mind you, these are not high pressure events. Instead of me telling, probably one of you can tell how stressful are continuous assessments. And you have seen your hostel mates and other folks, right, who who go for a typical semester exams. So what is their experience like? And what do they tell? Looking at you guys, you know, doing frequent CAs. So most of the learning like is done during the class hours and we don't have to prepare much before the exams so it's like uh, pretty simple and like compared to the normal btech cse and all we don't have to prepare much we learn mostly during the class hours and all so it won't uh, be much hectic uh, you also might find your roommates or other people from btech cse buying a full full stack of uh, copies of the books notes uh, not sleeping for a couple of days before their end sim. So, so you will fortunately be not doing any of those. So, yeah. Yes, uh, I think during end sim exams, one business is a great business in the campus, which is the Xerox shop. So everybody starts getting you know, uh, Xerox copies of the first benches, who have written notes. You don't have to do all of that here. So it's like real learning. So not much. Uh, one question here: After getting internships, how many hours do you have to work? Yeah. So it, it really depends upon the kind of work you are doing. So like every uh, day, it is not going to be same for every day. So for example, if you have a high priority task assigned to you today, you might need to put a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can also fill it, finish a bit early. So it de really depends upon the workload and the priority of the task you're working on. Yeah, I agree with Priyanshi. So it depends on the work as well as the company. So. In my case, uh, it's in US company, so I have me uh, meetings during the night time at 9 p.m., 10 p.m. So yeah, so that that thanks for telling that because that sometimes comes if you if you get into a US company or a UK based company, different time zone, then you may have to wake up or sleep early, early sleep late or whatever. But that's the fun part as well, isn't it? So that there you go. How will you manage internship with regular classes? Uh, see, uh, I'll, I'll give you the, the, the official statement and then the students can give you what they really go through. The, uh, the, the way this program is designed is keeping in mind of work integration. So it, uh, you get credits for that and hours are allocated for that. So from the second year onwards, your study load or learning load uh, will be such that you can manage it in, say, the first half and then dedicate the second half for your work integration. How does it really happen? Uh, so yeah uh, the first half is generally allocated to the academic so the uh, the courses you are assigned so let's say you have four courses for this semester so the first four hours of the day will be uh, allocated to those semesters second half of the day is generally uh, left free which is for the work integration where you are ideally supposed to do all the company task stuff and all that thing so that's how you can manage. Uh, yeah, I think it's covered. And I would like to like just give the time frame. So 9 to 12 would be the first half. And uh, that 2 to 7 around would be the second half. That's it. Additionally, there can be flexibility around the curriculum. So since there are a couple of uh, lectures which are managed by the Calvium itself. So there can be some faculty. Uh, there can be some ease around those lectures specifically. So if you have some urgent meeting schedule for a company for, let's say, 10 to 11, which is ideally a curriculum hour. So that can be shifted and managed to the uh, uh, post break time. So you can do your curriculum task into that hour and uh, your company task to that. So that is adjustable uh, depending upon the needs. Will Calvium guide us to contribute to open source projects? Of course, in case you have something specific in mind, yes, we are geared up for guiding you on that. Uh, I have heard that Calvium brings different rules suddenly for eligibility. Okay, there are very interesting anonymous questions coming in. And only one out of three are eligible. 
Uh, all right, so I'll give you uh, the official statement and then you can hear from the real uh, people who have gone through it as well. So see, the, the thing is, the, the most important purpose of having uh, eligibility rules is that you be productive for the company so that the company also sees how you are doing and progressively, it's pro they also see value in the students coming in and doing the work and then uh, we set up for a good uh, experience for the company. So then more companies come, they hire more students and this becomes a virtuous cycle. That's why we have to have certain eligibility guidelines. And as we as we see that, we, we set up the students so that they succeed. We also want the students to go there and be successful. So we have a criteria. So if you do well here, then you can go there and succeed. So we check you take. So all these criteria are to ensure that you are successful in the uh, internship, right? So over to you guys. Uh, is it true that rules are changed at the at PIMS and uh, only one third are eligible? I'll take that question because I have gone through the latest eligibility rules for getting eligible for an internship. Uh, first of all, uh, I, I have the answer to the question that does Calvium changes rules or not? It is yes, the Calvium changes rules, but those rules are iteratively changed for the betterment of the students only. And all the rules which are set out are very basic and easy rules to clear. If you are coming on time, you are completing and you are following the minimum pay set out by Calvium to complete the course, then you will easily follow the, uh, be able to uh, clear all the eligibility markers uh, without putting in any extra efforts. But there are students who won't be uh, coming on time, who would be uh, an hour late to the classes. And because of this, some professionalism score, professionalism score decreases, or if you're not able to complete your projects on time. So to ensure that you don't do that in the company also, and then you make a bad impression on the company, Calvium will uh, not allow you to sit in that uh, internship phase and will tell you that, okay, improve upon these things. Uh, these are the things where you were lacking at. And now you you have to improve and you will be given a chance to sit in the next internship cycle. Awesome. Well said, uh, Rikhil. So I hope that clarifies the doubt there. Uh, so, okay, we have selected software product engineering, right? What if we want to join cyber or AI? Okay, there are a lot of these questions. Probably we'll have, we'll get you guys to answer what you think. Uh, a lot of these people feel that if you join this program, you will miss out learning on things like cyber security, cloud computing, AI, ML data sciences, put in whatever buzzword that is coming up later. So what do you guys feel? Do you guys feel you're missing out on something? Or uh, what do you, what do the other students who are joining these courses uh, feel like? And what is your experience? How would you answer to somebody like that? So like I can take this one. Uh, so I would say that uh, uh, even in like first year, a lot of students are there who uh, who have interest in cyber security and are doing it and uh, we have seen them doing uh, pretty well they have uh, found a lot of bugs in very popular apps and websites so they are doing good and it's like uh, when you come to this uh, when you will take this course you will have the basics so uh, in every field uh, whether it is ai or cyber the computer uh, core concepts that remains the same and there are few additional things if you have covered the basics you can easily work upon them and learn the these new skills like which are ai ml and cyber security if you have interest you have to give time and you can easily learn that i would awesome. like to add this yeah. answer uh, a bit uh, i agree completely agree with tanish what i would like to add is that when you are coming into a course like this you will have a lot of time to study about extra things as well. When you are in your first year, in second year, you will have pressure from company as well. But in the first year, when you are learning things, there would be a lot of topics for which Calvium has allotted one hour or two hours or three hours. But you will be able to complete it in a one, a three hour topic in one hour. The rest of the two hours, if you want to invest in learning something extra or any other topic, no mentor or no any other student is going to stop you from doing that they are either like instead they'll be motivating you to learn extra so in the class class classroom culture itself you will be able to learn other things than the current syllabus provided as well awesome thanks uh Rikin. and uh yeah that that's the thing and i think i'll just add one more thing one of the fundamental foundational parts of calvium is learning how to learn uh, it's a very important skill we have a structured program for that on learning how to learn uh, and uh, this is you can you like folks here can go and google that as well if you're not exposed to that so that's the most important skill you will you will need in your life because what you learn today in computer science is probably going to be outdated or less relevant in seven years ten years or whenever right whenever it comes we can't say that this is going to be there ever forever so the most important skill you can learn today irrespective of computer science engineering in whichever field you are in 
is the ability to learn things quickly. So that is something which is instilled in the students. So they'll be the, they'll be confident of saying, if things change, so what? I can always pick that up later. So uh, so that's that's another thing I just wanted to jump, uh, add in addition to this. Okay, now uh, moving on. Okay, it's it's seven forty five. So let me then. There's a lot of questions there, so I'll I'll rush a bit. What about the laptop features required? Okay, there is a there's a very simple doc, guys. Jagdish and Kishore is asking what laptop should I buy? Uh, very basic laptops to to whatever you want. There's a very minimum specs that we need, which we will be sending sending to you. So reach out to your counselor. Uh, this information will come to you via your counselor or via your program team on 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 the laptop specs that are required. So don't worry about that. You'll you'll be guided on that. Uh, so yes, that the couple of laptop questions will we have time to? How will be we awarded credits? Okay, so uh, I'm not sure if you're aware of the whole credit system. It's very different from the school system on how you learn like uh, different subjects and have an annual exam. Uh, so you can go and you can you can refresh on that. So every program, every course, every subject comes with certain allotted credits, which uh, which which show the importance they have, so that you get a weighted average of your credits into your grades, and then you get your CGPA. So that's how the program is designed. The credit for different courses is also there in the uh, detailed program uh, guide there, curriculum guide there. So you can you can download it or you can ask your counselor for it. It's there on the internet as well, on the website as well. So that's how credits are awarded. Uh, does software product engineer limit us from opportunities? Absolutely not. Uh, guys, do not worry about these things. You know, does a particular degree the particular nomenclature of a degree is B better than BTEC, BTEC better than B, BCA. It doesn't matter. The actual fact of the matter is it doesn't matter. Companies look at the skills you have, uh, so they don't differentiate uh, on on you know, which degree, what degree, what CGPA, what. So long as you have the skills, that's the truth. That's the reality. Uh, you can go and check yourself. Uh, you go and check the job uh, descriptions uh, and uh, things on uh, you know uh, on, on on popular companies. Your favorite company. Go to your dream company. Look at what they have put there. Work experience is way more valued than uh, than this. Will Calvium help students prepare for GSOC separately? Yeah, one of the students got into GSOC this year. One of the first year students going into second year. I don't think we separately take classes for cracking GSOC. But if you're interested in GSOC. You'll get help from the mentors in, in, in going through it and submitting your applications and all of that. So you'll have all the support required. Some people want to, then they'll get it. So it's a very, very self-paced. It's like a imagine Calvin to be a, like a huge buffet. Uh, you're not forced to pick something. You can pick whatever you want. And wherever you want, whatever you want additional support, you will get that. Uh, will we have placement opportunities in third year? Of course. So after your tech first year, once you've qualified, it continuously keeps coming. So you continuously keep getting internship opportunities. Every three months, uh, internship drives happen and, and, and the opportunities keep coming. So shouldn't be a problem. Class climbing is nine to five. So will there be will be the class with the mentor uh, or the coaching is also done? Yes, the mentor is there with you in the class uh, for the whole time. So yes, uh, they are there with you and uh, you, you get access to them then in the entire class hours. Uh, if, if the mentors guide us with the internships, then why are some people didn't? So you see, uh, people are asking why are some people not getting internships or will I guarantee we get an internship? Simple answer, guys. Just because you enroll in a gym, you will not get a six pack, right? You can't show that, hey, I have paid my fees for the gym. Where is my six pack? You won't get it. So gym will give you the facilities. You will have to do the hard work. You will get the six pack, right? But yeah, you can't show that. So that's that's the simple answer I'm giving you guys. And you have people here. We are telling you transparently. Some people don't make it, which is also fine. You will learn and you will make it. It's just like you have come to this level. You just add some more levels and then you will get it, right? So that's all it is. You just keep improving day by day, and 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 keep unlocking, you know, benefits. Uh, will we be given any mock tests for internship? Yes, you are trained for the internships uh, extensively. Uh, in fact, uh, the first year students went through a program called PQ, PPP, pre-placement preparation or something like that. So even during their vacation times, they had an option to prepare for the internships where they were, you know, helped by mentors on the ad hoc interviews and all of that stuff. So constantly we are upgrading our ways to help you with internship preparations as well. So you will get that. Uh, I have seen some courses on the internet which say that they'll teach you how to build 50 real world applications and replicate. Do we get to do this? And uh, okay, I know we have seen people uh, putting up, you know, they 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 copy the skin of Netflix or something like that, and 50 real world uh, applications. Hey, do you guys do something like that? So I do not believe like just copying the skin of any website is some kind of real development. 
when you when you actually learn things from scratch you know how how many things actually go behind building a single web page whether it's the login registration part and everything so i do not believe the scoping part the these are not really the real life or real world projects that that are being portrayed as just copying the html and css part so that's not it yeah like uh, i agree uh, adding on to priyanshi's point so i would say i will say that like here at alvium students make applications which has their own unique ui and unique idea they don't make clones usually at least for uh, which we show to the recruiters so everyone has their unique project Uh, Rekhil, you want to say what project? What is your capstone project? So in Calvin, we call it a capstone project. You have to do something original. You have to make the code which is original. You can't simply copy. Uh, you also have to develop it. So you are you are weekly reviews on how you are developing the code. So it's not like two days before the review you copy paste from somewhere. You, you can't do that. So it follows the process. So do you want to share what your project was, Rekhil, this year? Yeah, sure. So uh, this year I worked on my capstone project to show to the recruiters during my interview. Uh, so I worked on a website, basically, which is uh, which works on a kind of a freelancing platform, but it is built for college students. So what I realized while I was in the college that because I am in, I am in Calvium, I am into the Calvium system, I am able to acquire a lot of skills which are helping me to connect with a lot of industry people. But most of the normal college students who are enrolled into normal CSC programs, they don't get that opportunity. They are not even able to acquire those skills. So what my platform, I may build a platform where normal and small startups can come and they give some tasks to the college students. And college students can participate in them, learn while doing it, and they'll also have the opportunity to uh, get a bounty if they perform the best in those tasks. So that was my capstone project. Uh, and and I was able to make it complete end to end. The payment gateways, the login signups, and the authentication authorization. Everybody, uh, everybody is able to get their unique profile pictures and everything. So everything works on the project completely. Awesome. So I'm going to now. We have we are at all right. So uh, I'm just going from reverse now. What is the timetable of the classes like? What will I be doing every hour? Uh, do you, anyone of you have access to your timetable that you can share your screen and show people like what your timetable looks like? Some, some yeah, really, really I, I can do that. So uh, while Rikhil shares his screen, I'll probably go through a couple of more questions. Since the program is completely based, will my student loan include the cost of laptop as well? Guys, uh, student loans typically don't cover the laptops. It is generally the tuition fee only. That's typically what happens. I don't know if today you have some banks or other people having products where you can have uh, these things also covered. But usually, student loan is for the uh, tuition fees only and is directly paid to the college. But yeah, that's that's my knowledge. There you go. Uh, that's Rikhil's. uh timetable you have hourly things what you do oh, you have something called soft skills with fun you didn't tell me that you yeah, can so have fun from 2 to 2 basically 30. Yeah, basically this is the hourly schedule which we have to follow. Minimum pay set out by Calvium. Everything is mentioned in in this schedule in detail. Whether it will be a theoretical or practical session, and about soft soft skills with fun. So basically, your soft skills are soft skills are very important when you are going to interact with outside people or uh, companies coming in for interviews. So in this uh, half an hour, our mentors uh, play some activities with us, which uh, at the end of the day are helping us to improve our soft skills. Basically, it can be a group discussion or it can be some like word guessing kind of thing, where you have to, where you'll be leveraging your confidence and as well as improving your people skills. Thanks, Rikil. Thank you so much. Uh, this is really useful for folks that are looking. Somebody is asking, do we have to carry books? No, no, you don't have to carry any books, any notebooks, any uh, record notebooks, nothing. Uh, it's just your laptop, your field. You can you can carry a, guy, a diary or something if you want to. But you are professionals from day one, and uh, a laptop is all you need. Okay, you mentioned that there'll be group of twenty. What if students get difficulty in coping with the group or problem uh, related to the subject? What will take if there is a question from any tips to share? Hey guys, do you find it difficulty coping with your classmates, with your squad mates? Not at all. No. So, see these these things. We don't ask you to you know sit with your fingers on your lips or you know stand up on the bench. These things don't happen in the Calvium or get out of the class. These things don't happen. Uh, the thing is, with the more you are treated as professionals, you will see the bright side of people. They they are all you know putting their best behavior there, and so you don't have to worry about these things at all. Is Calvium follow the same syllabus as rest of campus? Yes, the Calvium program is exactly the same as rest of which campus you study. uh the calvium program the mentorship uh, the internship opportunities all of these are 
common, 100% common. With LPU or with, with our, whichever campus you choose, it's a question of convenience. You know, is it closer to me? Is it more? And do I want that experience? Sometimes campuses have their own experience, like you know, LPU was mentioning. You have swimming pools and this and that. So you you go for that experience. Uh, what about fourth year placement? Uh, Janna Chauhan is asking, what about fourth year placement? See, you don't have to worry about your first fourth year placement because by the time you reach fourth year, you would have built enough connections in the industry, good experience. Your LinkedIn profile will speak for itself uh, and it should be better. So you don't have to worry about that. But yeah, that is also part of Calvin's responsibilities in, in giving you those opportunities. So you will have those opportunities. You'll have better opportunities than uh, your regular counterparts who will be joining as freshers. Uh, okay, would you be please transparent to share faculty's qualifications? Absolutely, there's there's no doubt. Uh, so faculty qualifications, depending on which university, which campus you go, your faculties would be either BTECs, BTECs with experience, MCAs with experience, MTECs with experience, MTECs without experience, freshers BTEC with training from industry. You'll have all that uh, mix. But all these people, whoever are mentors, all those mentors are trained by Kalyan who are good enough to satisfy any of the queries, any of it will be the best mentors that you uh, that you or your, you know, the students require. So let me put it the other way around. Uh, Rikhil, Tanesh, Priyanshi, have you ever had any trouble with a mentor uh, being unable to help you? No, I have completed my two years. I have never faced any such problem where, where the mentor was not able to resolve the query. Even there were some instances which needed some clarification. Uh, if the clarification wasn't available at the spot, it was provided after some time later. But uh, I do not recognize any such issues that were left unremained due to a faculty being less qualified or anything as such. Uh, Calvium projects classes start from first year itself. Internships start from second year. I want to know what was your first year experience in Kalyan. Somebody, Ishita wants to know specifically your first year experience. Uh, due to the lack of time, I'm going to choose one of you to describe that. Uh, Ishita, so Priyanshi, do you want to speak about your first year experience and also uh, including hostel and all that stuff that girls have to go through? So you can, you can uh, yeah, that. sure. So first year experience will be a lot of learning. So starting from 9 a.m. till 6 30 you your curriculum will be entirely focused on learning new stuff and practicing the more you can practice you also have some fun activities induced inside that schedule only but the the this first year will entirely be focused on learning so no internship opportunities nothing in the first year that is completely focused on the core concepts uh, yeah, that that is the first year experience. You might miss out uh, on certain events. So since the classroom start, class starts from Monday to Saturday, like six days a week, you might miss out on certain activities. But, but after the first year, when you get opportunities, I think you will see the worth in missing those couple of events when, when you get a lot more opportunities than the students of the same batch as they are getting less opportunities and you will be having internships. So yeah, I think it will be worth it. Cool. Thanks. Uh, will you be taught DSA and OOPS? Yes, you will learn DSA and OOPS uh, as well. It's part of the curriculum. Does Calvium provide projects? Okay, we don't provide projects. Again, this is a very, very typical uh, thing where uh, in many, many engineering schools, even the colleges that I went to, I've seen students provided projects. They go and buy projects and submit them. You won't get an opportunity to do all of that here. right? So if that is what you're looking for, you'll be disappointed. You will make projects. Right? Students will take projects and make projects. Even, even what Rikhil did, uh, what he described was not something that was given to him. Uh, I think it's something that he came up with. So students can come up with what they want. They're free to discuss with, with their peers, with their colleagues, with their mentors, discuss ideas, bounce them even change them up midway. So students come up with projects, uh, you are not provided them. Okay, with that quick rush, uh, we have we have completed all the questions that were put out here. Uh, okay, thank you so much uh, for, a, for a wonderful participation, folks. I know it was a lot of typing, but with so many of you here, I think that was the uh, most optimum way of doing this. Uh, thank you so much, Rikhil, Tanishk, and Priyanshi for being so patient with all these questions. Uh, with that, thank you so much, folks. Thank you so much for your exciting participation. Thank you, folks, and bye-bye.